us. Christ suffered for us. Right. He didn't suffer for all the other nations. Right. He suffered on that cross that you're wearing around your neck. Yes. The same way our brothers and sisters suffered when they get hung from a tree or up. whipped on their back, tied to a tree and whipped on their backs. Right. Like they're that is an ornament of, it was a, a, a tool used to persecute our people that cross. Right. Right. It's a, they make a mockery of us when they teach us that we must wear that around our necks. And when we wear it, we show how destroyed we are as a people. Right. It's not a good thing. Because our Lord and Savior, the black Messiah, Jesus Christ, was murdered on that cross. Right. Right. And we see that by the works that you're doing. You're wearing that cross. You're wearing your destruction on, on your hair and on, in your clothing. You understand that? So what we're going over is your faith now. Your name is faith. You wear that cross because of faith. We're showing you what your true faith sh should be. Read that again. Exodus chapter 18 verse 20. Go ahead. Go ahead. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and law and shalt show them the way wherein they must walk. Go ahead and the work that they must do. So what are those works? How you doing, family? The, law, the laws of God. We'll go back to James chapter 2 now, right? So we're going over faith right now. Y'all believe in Christ? Y'all have faith? What is your faith? How do you show your faith? Stay right here, y'all. How do you show that you believe in Christ? Are you supposed to be able to show that? How do we prove that? By our works. By our works, and what are those works? Giving to others. Uh-huh. Um, Taking care of your parents. Taking care of your parents. Believing in God. Believing in God. Only. That's good. What about you, bro? What's your name? Tyrone. Tyrone. What's what is what is what is, what is the works? How you, work to, how you treat people. How you treat people, right? So get get the works again, Exodus. Exodus chapter 20. What we're going over is the true understanding of Jesus Christ. Right. We're going over the true understanding of the Bible as it is written. Because right now we have brother, what's your name? Tavius? Tavius, he has a cross around his neck. That symbolizes Christianity, right? We have a young sister right here, Faith. Sister Faith right here, she, she says she believes as well, but she's wearing other people's hair, another nation's hair on her head, right? And then we have y'all, what should you say, Tyrone? What's your name, sis? Annette. Annette, right? Y'all say y'all believe, but you gotta do works, right? And it's a good thing to understand those basic understandings, right? But the one thing that our people don't wanna get with is the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments that, right. that, that they write in the Old Covenant. Read that again. Exodus chapter 18, verse 20. Go ahead. Oh. And thou shalt teach them ordinances. Teach them ordinances. And laws. Uh -huh. And shall show them the way wherein they must walk. The way that we must walk. Now, the brother Tavius, you mentioned, we're supposed to be following Christ's example, right? You believe that's faith? You believe that, Tyrone? You believe that, sis? So, how did Christ walk? Hold that Exodus. How did Christ walk? Because we're not taught this in the Christian church. I wasn't taught this growing up. My parents wasn't taught this. None of my brothers out here were taught this in the Christian church. Hence the reason why our people are, we suffer from low self-esteem. Right. Our people suffer from self-hatred. Right. And our people don't know how to apply the works that you mentioned about loving each other and doing good to your brothers and sisters. Right. Our neighbors, our own people. Right. You no, know, because we're not taught this thing. First Peter chapter 2, verse 21. Right. Or even here too. Were well, you called? Uh -huh. Because Christ also suffered for us. Christ suffered for us. Right. He didn't suffer for all the other nations. Right. He suffered on that cross that you're wearing around your neck. Yes. The same way our brothers and sisters suffered when they get hung from a tree. Or whipped on their back, tied to a tree and whipped on their backs. Right. Right. Get that is an ornament of, it was a, a, a tool used to persecute our people that cross. Right. Right. It's a, they make a mockery of us when they teach us that we must wear that around our necks. And when we wear it, we show how destroyed we are as a people. It right. It's not a good thing. Because our Lord and Savior, the black Messiah, Jesus Christ, was murdered on that cross. Right. He was murdered on that cross. Read. Right. Leaving us an example. He left us an example. Read. That ye should follow his steps. So you mentioned that, right? We should walk in the way of Christ. We should follow in his steps. Now, how did Christ walk or read? Who did no sin. He did not commit what? No sin. Now, the thing is, what is sin? What is sin, sis? Great question. Great question, Sister Faith. <laughs> you, you, heard, you heard what she asked? How do we know that Jesus Christ was a black man? He was one of us, right? So that's a heavy question. We're going to answer that in a second. 
But what, what did I just ask you? What is sin? What is sin? Because you said Christ did no sin and we're supposed to walk after his steps. Uh, well, Bring it out. I mean, the Bible teaches us what, what gives us a list of sins. Uh -huh. I think sometimes it's based on what people believe their pastors say. Fornication is a sin. Okay. Your gluttony is a sin. Okay. Slothfulness. Huh? Slothfulness yeah, is a so, sin, yeah, right? Those, those are sins that are listed in the Bible, but all sins aren't listed in the Bible. But all sins aren't wrong, listed in the Bible? I, doing wrong by others, I think, is a sin. That's a great Will, one. Love that neighbor. Willfully doing wrong to others is a sin. Right, but we can't pick and choose which one we do, right, Tyro? Right. Right, so, so all of it, let's read that. Let's get the definition of sin according to the Bible, right? So that we can we can edify each other according to what's coming out of not what's coming out of my mouth, but what this brother right here is reading from the Bible. Read. First John chapter three verse four. Bring it out. Whosoever committeth sin, says whosoever commits a sin, read. Transgressive also the law. Says transgress also the law. Because what is sin? Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is when we break the laws that are written in this Bible here. Right. That's also the works that we're supposed to be doing. That's the way Christ walked. He walked sinless, right? Now, we can say that, look, nobody's perfect, right? But does Christ want us to make an excuse for our sins, or does he want us to strive after that perfection by battling the sins that we, that we learn about in the scriptures? We're supposed to battle that thing, right? Now, the sister mentioned, her name is Faith. I want to deal with what she was talking about real quick, because the subject is Christ and our faith and our belief in him, right? What color is Jesus Christ? Black. You say black. What color is Christ? Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. I said it doesn't matter. Does it matter? I don't think it matters, but the Bible tells us that he had had, had dark skin. Right? What about you, Faith? You said it doesn't matter? Get John 7, 38, then get Revelation. Bring it out! what you said, so I wanted to know. Oh, good, good. And that's our job, to prove those things. You understand that? Get John 7, 38. Because what we're going to show you is that it does matter what color Christ is. Right. And it also matters what he taught and who he died for. All those things matter. Read. John chapter 7, verse 38. And yeah. it's not out of Christ's mouth. These are the red letters in the Bible, meaning he spoke those things directly. Read. Right. He that believeth for me. If you have faith or believe in Jesus Christ. Now, what is faith? It's believing and following. It's following his teachers and doing the commandments. Read. As the scripture has said. We must follow Christ as the scripture says. Read. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So we must follow Christ as the scripture says in order to have understanding of these scriptures. The reason why you don't learn that in Christianity is because they have no understanding. Right. Because they don't do what the Bible says to do. Right. They go to church on the first day instead of the seventh day. Right. That's just the start, right? So now let's deal with your thing so you can increase your faith, sister. You understand that? Because once you learn what color Jesus Christ is and that it does matter, get Revelation chapter 1. Y'all pay? Y'all got a flyer? Yeah. All right. But hey, call that number on the back of the flyer. Study for yourself. Read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is Jesus Christ now being revealed. The root word of revelation is what? Reveal him, right? He's revealing it to you now. Sister Faith, pay attention. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So God gave John the revelator, the, he revealed Christ unto him to show unto us. Because we are his servants. We're commanded to serve Christ, serve the Most High God, right? Things which must shortly come to pass. Get verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It says Christ's head and his hairs were white and woolly. Now come here real quick, sis. Check this out. Which image of Christ did we learn growing up? You can come over here too, Tavis. Which one? Right, something like this, right? One of these, any one of these, they somewhere. I seen this one in the grocery store. That'd be on a candle. Right. The Arabs? Yeah, how they have dark skin. Right. So we're gonna deal with that. But do, does the Arab have this? Read that again. His head and his hands. His head and his hands were white like wool. Do Arabs have woolly hair? Who has woolly hair? Let me see your head, um, Tavis. I'm gonna show you something about that hat on your head too. That that that's woolly hair, right? Does the Arab people today have woolly hair? Naturally? No, right? So that that nonsense that they tell you, oh, he was more, um, what do you call him? Middle Eastern. That's nonsense. It's a lie. 
Right. Ba basically, all they trying to do is 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 sway your mind off of this because you know you don't believe that this damn devil is Christ. So they say, you know what? He was Middle Eastern. That's why he says his skin was dark. No, right. Middle Easterns don't have woolly hair though. Right. You understand that? So Christ, first thing that we learn is that his head on his hairs were white and woolly. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Said his eyes were as a flame of fire because Christ drank wine in moderation. He had right. red eyes. Right. Read. And his feet. Now he said, and his feet. I can see your feet right now, Faith. Do you think that by me looking at your feet, I can mistake you for a Caucasian, so-called Caucasian no. person? No, right? If I look at your feet, I know that you're a woman of color, right? So read that again. And his feet, says, and Christ's feet was what? Like unto fine brass. Said Christ's feet was like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Y'all play instruments? Uh, no. No, it's like it's like a it's a derivative of brown, right? Some say it's goldish, right? Yeah. It's a derivative of brown reed, but what happens to that brass reed? As if they burned in a furnace. When you burn brass in a furnace now, what color does it turn? Black. It turns black, a dark black. So Christ was a dark skinned black man. And you know how we know? Because it's written in the Bible. Right. You understand that? This right here is not written in the Bible. So if that's not written in the Bible, what would you call that? Yeah. A Caucasian man, but what is it? It starts with an L. It's a three-letter word. If it's not written in the Bible, but they give us this picture, what do we call it? It is a lie. That's they right. are liars. They've been lying to you all of your life, Sister Faith, right. Brother Tavius. You understand that? So the reason why you wear that cross right there on your neck, that represents this right here. That represents you not keeping the Most High's Law, Statutes, and Commandments. That represents you not loving your neighbor as yourself. You understand that? That is not of the Most High God. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Crisis the faith. He's a brown man, right? But that, that probably doesn't doesn't does it matter to you? No. It still doesn't matter. Why not? Give me um Judah. The easy. It's about how you follow him. Okay. So, but you believe in Christ, right? Why do you believe in Christ? Like, what is what is believing in Christ supposed to do for you? To care about you to do what though? Why do you need someone to care about? Why, the, why do people on earth, right? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna identify exactly who it is yet. Why do the people on earth want to believe in Christ? Go go somewhere, hey family over there, real quick. Why do people believe in Jesus Christ? Like what does Christ do for us? You don't believe in Christ? You tell me. I'm going to tell you right now. Stay right there, though. How can I tell you when you're walking away? See what happens? Why do you believe in Christ? Why do I believe in Christ? Yeah. Yeah. Um, in Luke chapter 1. What you about to say? Not only... John 4. Believing in... Believing John 4. All right. Get, um... Give me Luke 1, verse 68 real quick. This is why you should Bring believe in Christ, right? Here's the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Yeah. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Now, he said, this is the Lord God of Israel. We haven't even gotten into your nationality yet. What's your nationality? Uh, African-American. African what about you? What's your nationality? You, you mixed? Yeah. All right, we're going to deal with that in a second, right? But I want you to listen to the script here. Read. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He said, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. It says God is for, this is the only God, the God is for Israel, right? What? Right. So who is that? People. What people? The people who follow Christ? Read that again. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited, 
Go ahead. And redeem his people. He said, for he has visited and redeemed his people now. That's not all people now. So he said, Christ, most High visited and redeemed his people. Read. And have raised up in horn of salvation for us and us. Read. For us in the house of his servant David. Of his servant David. Read. And he spake by the mouth of the holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Read. That we shall said that we, Israel, shall be what? Shall be saved. Shall be saved. Christ came to save his people. Right. What? Right. Understand right. that? Read. Saved from what though? And then this should identify what people is talking about. It should ring a bell. Read. From our enemies. We shall be saved from our enemies. Read. And the hand of all that hate us. And the hand of all that hate us. Now it's all people in the hand of their enemies today. So what people are in the hand of the people that oppressed them, enslaved them, and persecuted them? And it's still doing it today. We're going over Jesus Christ. How y'all doing, family? We're going over Jesus Christ and why do we believe? Y'all believe in Jesus? Why? He's the creator. Stay right here, y'all. He's the creator? Okay. Why? Well, what, what's the point of believing in Jesus, especially as black people in America? Do, do we get justice here? Are we second-class citizens as black people in America today? Are we persecuted? Do we fill the prison houses as black people? How you doing, bro? Right? So why do you believe in Jesus? You don't know, right? You don't know, and that's the issue with our people today. Read that again. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Straight up. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. What you're going to find out is that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. You are Jesus Christ's people. Right. Christ came to redeem you from captivity, from slavery, so that you can get justice today right. here on this earth. And how do we know that? Sis, let's read in the flyer. What's your name? Zakia. Zakia. What's your nationality, Zakia? A lot of things. A lot of things? She said that she was a lot of things, right? Well, we're going to show you. Let me show you real quick. What's your name, bro? Kenan. Kenan? Kenan. Kenan? How you doing, Kenan? Let, let, pay attention just for a second. Because, because sis is confused. Sis is confused. Everybody out is confused, right? What we're going to show you real quick is that your nationality is that you're an Israelite according to the Bible, and there's no such thing as mixed. Right. It, it doesn't matter what you're mixed with, so-called. What your mother and father is, you are of the lineage of your father. Right. You understand that the confusion has to stop. Get numbers. Chapter numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, y'all. Sisters, pay attention. Read. And they assembled all the congregation together uh -huh. on the first day of the second month. Go ahead. And they declared their pedigree. They declared their bloodline, their lineage after what? After their families. Uh -huh. By the house of their father. By the house of their father. So what was your father's nationality, sis? I don't know. You don't know? What is your father's nationality, sis? Huh? What's your father? Who was your father? Jesus? So you don't, I mean your earthly father. You good? Oh. Oh, yeah. African American, so guess what? You're not mixed. You're a so-called black person. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right. You understand that? That's what the Bible says. Now we have to prove that thing to you. We have to show you without any shadow of a doubt that the Israels, most high people, the people that Christ came to save, that is you right now, brother, walking around with that cross around your neck. You understand that? So let's show it to you. Give me Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Bring it up. Read that. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass. So Moses now is prophesying to the children of Israel. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses is telling the children of Israel that if you do not listen to his commandments, the curses are going to come upon you and overtake you. Now we're going to go through a couple of curses. And I want you to tell me what nation of people are going through it because that's who identifies who the Israelites are today. You understand that? So slavery. Give me an attribute of slavery, sister faith. What happened during slavery? They were taken captive. They were taken captive? How? What means of transportation? How'd they bring us from Africa over here? Yeah. On boats, right? You, you agree with that, Tavius? 
Is that written in the Bible? No? It can't be, right? Read verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Bible just said that one of the curses that's going to be on the Israelites is that they're going to be taken into Egypt again with ships, right? This land here, this, the name of this country here is not Egypt, right? What's the name of this country? America, but this is the place where we were taken and made to be what? We were made to be slaves here, right? So let's see what Egypt means, read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt, he took the children of Israel out, read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of what? Bondage. Out of slavery, right? So Egypt is synonymous for what? Slavery, right? So read that now. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. He said the Lord is going to bring the Israelites into slavery. Read. Again. A second time with what? With ship. On what? With ship. On cargo slave ships. Now I'm going to ask you a question that should eliminate everybody. What nation of people did that happen to? What nation of people did this happen to, Sister Faith? Bring it out. Right here. African American, would you say that that's your ancestors? Your ancestors went through this, right? They're survivors of this, right? And the most I said that the Israelites are going to go through that, right? So what does that make the Israelites? Who are the Israelites today? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They are the Israelites according to the Bible. So what does that make your nationality, brother? American? African. What's your real African American? What's your real nationality though? You can't be an African American if the Bible says that you're an Israelite. You understand that? Right. What's your nationality, Faith? All right, we're gonna finish that verse off. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord is gonna bring the Israelites into slavery again. Y'all agree with that? Read. What ship? And who did that happen to? To the African Americans. So what does that make the African Americans? They are the Israelites according to the Bible. We, yes, we're going to finish this verse and I'm going to show you that by you not understanding that African American is not your nationality, that that's actually a curse as well. Right. Right. We're going to show you that. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Go ahead. And then when you come over off of those slave ships, what's going to happen? Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Didn't Christ say he was going to redeem you from your enemies and from the hand of all that hate you? Right? So would they, do they, did they love us when they did this to our people? Did, did that show that they hated us? Yes. Right? So that makes them our enemies, right? Right. Christ's going to redeem us from that, right? So read that again. From the hand of their enemies. From the enemies. For bondmen. For slave men read. And bond women and slave women. Who did that happen to? Pick them up. The African American, so called, right? That's right? And no man shall buy you. And who is redeemed? Who is, is fighting our battles for us now, trying to get us quote unquote equality here on this earth? What nation is has our back? None, right? Give me 32 real quick. You got some. Give me proverb and byword. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Yeah. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Now listen, the reason why you can't really see that you're Israel is because you're suffering this curse right here. Read. A proverb. A proverb is a wise saying. If you want to hide anything from a black man, where do you put it? You put it in a book. You may not have heard that one's a little older, right? Black people love to eat what? Chicken and watermelon, right? That's a proverb, right? You don't like watermelon, sis? You don't like. What about Kool Aid? What color Kool Aid you like? I used to like red, but. You like that red Kool Aid, right? That's a proverb. They know our people, right? Some of that stuff is, is real, right? Because I love chicken and watermelon and Kool Aid. No, it's not nasty. Three. It like and, and watermelon's delicious. Go ahead. And a byword. And a byword. You know what byword means? That you're. You're called something outside of your true nationality. African American comes from two so-called white men, Leo Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. Amerigo Vespucci, he discovered what country? 
He came and conquered what country? Amerigo Vespucci. Right. The landmass of America, right? And Leo Scipio Africanus, he, he conquered what country? Africanus. The landmass of Africa. That used to be called the land of Ham. You understand that? But now you call yourself after two so-called white men. Could that be your real nationality, bro? Real? No. So I'm going to ask you again, what is your nationality? You're an Israelite according to the Bible. Yes, it's going to take time, like Sis said. You got to read more. You got to study more. You damn sure got to get away from that cross. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 